As one of the largest industry sectors in the world, the steel industry plays a critical role in the global economy and it is used in every aspect of our lives. The main sectors of steel application include construction, appliances, transportation, packaging materials, energy, and defense. However, the steel industry now needs to reduce its carbon footprint for both environmental and economic reasons. Um, there's been a lot of research into decarbonization. Some people have been looking at blending natural gas with other gases. Uh, sometimes uh, blending natural gas with hydrogen since hydrogen is uh, non-carbon based. Uh, they've also looked into um, induction heating, which is uh, using induction coils and heating slabs. So that, that is supposed to replace the reheating furnace. And also for the blast furnace, of course, we now have the EAF. Uh, which is the electric arc furnace. So an electric arc furnace has greatly uh, reduced the generation of um, um, carbon. I think the arc furnaces have already significantly reduced uh, American steel making emissions. Um, but I think the consideration of using hydrogen in the processes could significantly drop off CO2 emissions from some of the other elements of integrated steel making and then maybe even further reduce the CO2 emissions from the uh, mini mill steel process, right, by cutting off emissions from reheating furnaces, for instance. To decarbonize the steel industry, several technologies are being used or developed, as well as individual efforts to increase efficiency. These efforts will be necessary to move the industry forward. The industry will transform, right, so even when we talk about 2050, I think you'll start seeing impact of green steel projects in the next 10 years for sure, right? And you'll start seeing a change in technology uh, towards this hydrogen steel. So it's a very exciting time for the steel industry because it's a big transformation time. It's a time of uh, stress maybe, but it's also a time of opportunity. There's a lot of technological advancement, I think, across the industry, in particular, you know, digital transformation initiatives and digitalization initiatives trying to take the wealth of measured data that pretty much all steelmakers have um, for their processes, for their furnaces, for their, you know, for their, their, their ladles and their casters. Overall, decarbonizing the steel industry will require a combination of these approaches as well as cooperation between steelmakers, researchers, students, and community to identify strategies and implement new technologies to reduce carbon emissions. Stay competitive in the global market and move the industry forward.